Hello everyone, my name is Maida Muniz. My lesson plan is based on mixing colors. Um, so basically what the students are gonna do is they are going to, um, they're gonna go into know about the primary colors, the secondary colors, and what other colors they can make. Uh, this can increase uh, their expectations to move from a low level of thinking to a higher level. Uh, the techniques that I used for um, this activity is basically a pre-K guidelines because I'm doing um, kindergarten. Um, so it's the B3.8.1 child uses, uses a variety of art materials and activities for sensory experience and exploration. So basically the child is going to demonstrate the ability to uh, be able to experience the color is a figure of many more and how many more they can make. Uh, student will also talk about what colors they use to make a different color. So the materials that I'm gonna have, it's gonna be a book. First, I'm gonna read a book to them. And the title of the book is uh, Mix It Up um, by um, Herb Tulip. They're going to use uh, the three primary uh, colors, paint colors, which is yellow, I mean, yellow, blue, and red. Uh, then they're going to, uh, the other materials that they're going to use, they're going to use a napkin or a paper towel, a white pa uh, plate, a cup with water. And for um, for a student that speaks another language other than um, English, I will definitely have a translator uh, translator machine for the student, or if the student speaks Spanish, um, and if I you know I speak Spanish, I will be able to help that student to translate. But of course, it's going to be more in English, and I will help the student a little bit with the Spanish. Um, a student that has a cast on, I will um, let the student try their best to paint or to mix the colors. I do not expect the student to have like a, not a perfect art, but you know, a perfect activity. Um, I know that it's going to be hard for the student, so the student is going to try the best. I also will help the student if he needs or she needs help, um, like pouring the paint or get a brush or any of the needs that the student needs for, for painting. Um, and for a student that has a span, a limited attention of spam, um, I will give the student uh, the same materials. I will give the students this or the student. Um, the same activity, but I also do not expect the student to have a long attention in the activity because I know that student can be only like for five minutes or less than five minutes. So for that student, I will try to make the lesson a little bit short, but in a way that the student understands. So this is how I'm going to start my how I'm gonna engage the students. So since my class is a kindergarten class, I will have all my kids sitting on the carpet um, around me, and then I will have my materials or an example of the materials that I'm gonna use. Um, but first, I'm gonna read them um, this book. It's called Mix It, and this but basically talks about uh, when you mix the blue, the yellow, and the red. Not the three together, but in different ways and what um, what colors they, they make. So, um, for example, um, like in the book talks about if you put red and blue, what color are you going to mix? What color are you going to make? And um, like if you put red and yellow, what other color you can make. 
and then if you put white with red what other color lighter you can make so i will read the book to the students and i will ask them what um what is the book about um uh i will also show the students um the color whenever they mix colors together on on the story and after i read the story i will um have paint i will have the paint and i will mix um i will make colors and i will but first i will choose two students so i will choose student one and ask the student okay um what color would you like to pick for the plate so we can mix so the students will be like i like yellow okay so we're gonna put a little bit of yellow and then we're gonna ask another student okay student two what color you're gonna want to use next and then um, he's going to be like, okay, I want blue. So we're going to add the blue together and we're going to make a prediction. So I'm going to ask the students, okay, guys, so if we put blue and yellow together, what color do you think we're going to make? And one of the students, another student is going to be like, oh, okay, well, I think it's pink or red, orange. The kids are going to have different um, guests. But some other students are gonna be like, oh, you may color green because yellow and blue makes color green. So I'll be like, okay, well, we're mixing the colors, let's guess. And I will be mixing the colors and I'll be like, okay, guys, well, it seems we're making a color. So what color do you think? And the students are gonna be like, oh, that's color green. I'll be like, yeah, you're right. So if you mix um, blue and yellow, what color do we make? And they're gonna be like, okay, we make green. So, okay. So after we um, mix the colors, um, I will ask three students to go to the carpet and I mean, to go to the table and um and they are gonna have their materials are gonna be on the table for them so everyone is gonna have their plate their water um their paper towel their brush and they're gonna have they're all gonna have their own three different colors because they're gonna use their first three primary colors to make more different colors um, so I will explain to students um, that they're going to have these materials and they can explore, they can make whatever colors they want to make. Uh, but I'll be next to them and asking open-ended questions about like, oh, okay, so what colors are you going to use? Uh, what color are you going to think you're going to make? And what colors do you use to make color red or I mean or color purple so the students are going to tell me um after um after they're done um they're gonna um the way that I'm gonna evaluate the kids or that it's gonna be their exit ticket is gonna be like okay tell me uh what colors do you use to make color uh, purple or what colors do you use to make color pink um, I I will ask them okay what color if you add red and orange uh, what color can you make or if you add red and green what color can you make they're basically gonna add um, a primary color and a secondary color when the students um tell me the colors then I will know that uh, some of the kids, they understood the activity and I will check on the, um, the high level of the learners. I will ask them more higher level questions or if the, one of the students or a few of the students, um, they just um, didn't really try to mix the colors and I will try to remake their activity with them. 
and that's all thank you